Hey everybody, this is Hakobo here. Um, I think from now on I'm going to try to sort of skip the intro-outro just to try to get as much accomplished as we can um, because I find myself when I watch tutorials often kind of skipping through to when it gets started. So let's get going and see if we can do this in under 10 minutes. I'm going to create a polygon cube. We're going to kind of be modeling a mattress. You can read more about it in the video description. Um, the that looks like a decent shape right there. I'm going to go over to my inputs. I'm over here. And let's do four. You'll want to do these by how many sort of creases you want in there. Um, now I'm going to hit the Q, hold that down, make sure camera base selection's on, and go to faces so we make sure we're not selecting the other things behind. I'm going to go to my polygon menu, go to edit mesh, and poke face. Pretty cool, huh? Um, yeah, this is the best way i found to do this. I mean, you could also go through and, you know, set up your edge loops. Um, um, if it's kind of, you'd want it to be more of a square shape and have even numbers, but this is the best way that i found to do this. Anyways. Add a mesh, poke face. All right, now we want to go through and select each one that we want to be kind of the divot. Um, yeah, I think I can select all of these. Um, like that. Now, pretty soon here, we're going to go to Edit Mesh, and then we want to go to Chamfer Vertex. And now those are all in like that. We want to go to Phases, and go through and select each one of those. I'm probably just going to do the top row, um, maybe top three rows so you can get the idea. Um, and I'm going to extrude that in. Now if we smooth shade, you get the idea. Um, kind of a cool sofa or mattress. Um, I might even do that a little bit more just to highlight the fact. Now the next thing we want to do is um, go to our edges and bevel them. Um, it took me a while because um, I was beveling them but then this didn't really retain its circular shape. Um, so you can see my settings here. I'm just adding one so we'll have a face in between. Uh, point one, one should work pretty well. Um, if we um, then apply that, edit mesh bevel, you can see it just applied a little bit. It's bigger here. But the problem is when we go and extrude I'm hitting three and one to go back from smooth shaded. Looks pretty good, but if you apply it all around, you lose the circleness of that. So one thing I found that kind of gets rid of that, I'm just undoing a bunch, um, is if we actually, we're just using smooth mesh preview, if we actually go mesh and then smooth it, so we have that extra geometry. Now when we go in um, to all the edges, um, it'll retain that circular shape a whole lot better. And if you want it, otherwise it becomes very much um, a square shape rather than a circle shape. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going through and highlighting these. I'll just do it, I suppose, on the top row. And yeah, we're going to do the steps I went through before. We're going to bevel it um, to add in a face that we can extrude in. Because it doesn't really work great to extrude in an edge. We want that extra face applied. And yeah, you can tweak your bevel settings. I found those work pretty well for mine. Um, obviously, the point one is based on the grid, um, so that'll define that. All right, let's bevel these. 
we have them there. Now we can go through and go in and tweak that look afterwards. Um, I was just going to do it to one or two, but doing it to more like four gives you a better idea. Otherwise, I wouldn't take time to do this. But it really shows you how this can be used pretty well and how it affects all of them. Because if all four edges are selected, you can see how it's affecting the shape of the middle. Um, yeah. When we extrude it in, now we can move it inward. And you can see we're getting that really cool shape. And you can choose how deep it is. Um, and yeah, I would apply this to the whole thing. You can see we're, we're still got that circle shape, which is what smoothing it did. Now we're getting that pretty cool pattern. You can set the depth yourself. And if you don't want, um, I kind of like the gap in here. For, sorry, I have to select these individually since it's scaling these to center. You can kind of get rid of that or move it forward or, I don't know, do do whatever you want with it. I, I really like the look of this right here, but you can see, yeah, it doesn't have as strong of that in. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, I would apply this to the whole thing, but I don't want to use your time. Then you can go into your animation menu, and I'm going to create a lattice. Um, and the height probably want to be the most. I'll probably make that eight, and then we probably only need two in this direction. So if I create that, we have this lattice shape. Um, if I go over that, hover over the lattice, I can go in here and kind of tweak the overall look to oops, our liking. Um, yeah, if you want any bend, but that kind of shows how you can affect the overall shape. When you get want to get rid of that, you can just delete your history. And you can, of course, undo that and tweak it again if you don't like the look of it. Um, but yeah, that really shows how to make sort of a mattress, sort of this cool shape. Um, if you yeah, if you could decide you want those out even more, you could, you know, move them forward, make that even more sort of defined look. But yeah, I spent while tweaking and I hope this helps you out. It looks like we're almost at 10 minutes, so I'll stop the tutorial here. Thanks for watching, guys.